What is going on? I'm Zedmont. We are here on the warships. This is my other account. I've got three accounts for warships. There's way, way too many. There's confetti in the air. Let's have a look at the replay log, show you why I'm here. Why I'm here is just winning, 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 hashtag tiger blood. Anyways, hopefully someone gets that reference. Anyways, let's keep going. I'm gonna show you how I'm winning and how to stop me from beating your base. Now, realistically, if I'm doing this, other people are doing this. So what I'm gonna show you is what I'm doing and why and how it's working and all that sort of fun stuff. So as you can see here, I have three engine rooms towards the back. If you look through this replay log, every single one of these replays is, I think, yeah, they've all got two engine rooms towards the back and then two towards the front. This base, probably my slowest time, but what I'm gonna show you is how to combat against that. Let's just show you this replay right in here so I can show you exactly what I'm doing. Artillery and barrage, just barraging, artillery. And they do have 50% building health. If they don't, it's even easier. You can actually artillery and barrage three engine rooms. Can I show you my tech tree now that I've already shown you two quarter slash half battles that have been completely useless. We've got basically everything maxed for four engine rooms, except for brick, which doesn't really matter all that much. Without Kavan, we've got level six uh, second win, so that's all we need. Otherwise, just maxing, maxing things. You can see I've got medics that was specifically to get the Flotsam Cannon. Flotsam Cannon can almost kill Kavan, can also blow up lots and lots of heavies and rifles and all that sort of stuff. Started to put some tokens into Zookas and then realized, you know what, on this account, we're not going to go that road. Shock Launcher's not quite maxed, means they don't have quite enough health yet, but doesn't really matter. Otherwise, Bombardiers are the key ingredient here as our barrage and the building health building health if you don't have building health you're going to get ruined like absolutely pummeled so please if you're not at four engine rooms or you're somewhere getting close to the gold tier make sure you get building health asap that is more important than bombardiers i think now this video is long overdue you're probably all well beyond gold and you have five engine rooms this account, though, I've been sticking at four engine rooms just to have something different. Um, anyways, so as you can see, winning, winning, winning. Now that we're on the YouTubes, guaranteed we're going to lose first attack, almost certainly. Ten win streak coming in. Every time I start to record a video, it just, I get pummeled. So sure enough, this person has done the smart thing. They've got all four engine rooms towards the back. Having it towards the back is so, so critical. That way we can't barrage them. What we're going to have to do is bring in one more heavy. The reason why I had riflemen loaded was a lot of times people have a boom cannon or a bunch of snipers and cannons towards the shore. Those riflemen definitely help, but this one not going to be required. What we're going to do, we're going to drop our heavy dead center on that sniper tower. Then we're going to drop two bombardiers on each side. That way the rocket launcher keys on them. Then we're going to bring some more heavies. Should have dropped the rest of my troops, but I was too busy yakking. The Grenadier's purpose is strictly to clear mines. That's all they're here for. Now what we're going to do is we're going to get rid of the shock launcher without GBEing or barding or whatever you want to call it, the engine rooms, we're going to focus on shock launchers simply because that is going to be the biggest source of grief for us and we don't want any grief. We're going to get some more heavies here in a second. Let's shock the rocket launcher and the, uh, what is that thing called? Flotsam cannon, right? So now all we're doing is clearing in as fast as we possibly, possibly can and trying not to lose troops in the process. This person has been nice enough to set up their um, buildings in a way where it's pretty easy to shock. Nine of them also don't recommend doing that whatsoever, but obviously people are going to make mistakes. you got to choose what you do and what you don't put into groups. So far... Um, I feel like we've got a chance. We started a little bit late for sure. And so now what we need to do is just finish this base off ASAP. Trying to figure out which base or engine room to throw all our gunboat energy at. Looks like it's that center one. Think we managed to pull out a win even though that was a not super awesome attack. Win streak still intact. And those three back engine rooms are so key for that. Um, as you saw by that person's base, 
You can consider putting four engine rooms towards the back. But what I've seen with that is people start to go out to the wide and can get back into your engine room. So I wanted people to have to come into this middle bit. They're going to have to come through all of these mines. Probably should spread that out a little bit. Um, and then they're into my two shock launchers. And once they've gotten further along, then they're into my flotsam cannon, which I probably should move slightly more central. And uh, so far... I've done nearly zero modifications to this base, and as you saw there, 11 wins in a row. Hashtag clickbait something. Words not working well for me. This base, again, it's funny. Every single base on my 10 win streak had two towards the front, two towards the back. Jump onto YouTube, and sure enough, that changes. So what we're going to do here, as I, saw, as, as I mentioned earlier, sniper, sniper, cannon, boom cannon. So we're going to swap out one boat of heavies for some rifles. That we've got lots and lots of fodder out front. Then we can go boom, 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 getting all of our troops out. Now we're going to drop the Grenadiers on the left-hand side. As you can see, this line of buildings goes towards the right. So by having those Grenadiers throwing onto that line should set us up fairly well. Now it's a matter of figuring out what the heck to do with our gunboat energy. Going to go once more for that shock launcher. Going to get a few more troops out from Mr. Kavon. And then again getting rid of shock launchers, speeding our troops through, and now we can just throw shocks out, and all of our troops are going to be rushing forwards. We're in pretty darn good shape. Lots and lots of grenadiers left, lots of zookas left, not zookas, those are called bombardiers or diddles or gramps or... I don't care what you call them. You know what I'm talking about. I always forget the bombardiers, but... Um, on the main base, but here on warships is very, very different. Obviously, Kavan is fairly useless in most circumstances on the main base. Here on warships, pretty darn strong though. At this point, we're just crushing through everything. For the last engine room, we're going to have enough GBE for a flare and a shock, and that is my primary focus right now. Let's get in, get... Oh man, they're heading out to the right. That is not good at all. Wind streak going to be lost. This is not a good thing at all. So as soon as we get enough bombs in the air, enough bombs throwing bombs in the air, we're going to throw all of our gunboat energy onto that back engine room pretty certain we have lost at this point hitting the retreat button doesn't really do a heck of a lot doesn't slow things down just gets the attack done slightly faster we're gonna lose lost six seconds kenneth rios breaking the win streak shout out to kenneth rios by the way if you ever want to shuttle on this channel it's very easy to do give me a video idea um lose beat me in warships um throw some intel in our task forces, do some fantastic things. Also, if you're looking to get a permanent shout out, check out my, where's that fourth engine room? This person only put, oh, never mind, sorry, blind, 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 blind. Um, check out the end screen, Patreon end screen. Very, very easy to get into a shout out. I've had a couple people recently saying, can you shout me out? And no, I can't. I don't give shout outs for no reason. I'm sorry. Um, Otherwise, I'd be shouting out from the rooftops at all times. Now we can just get our artillery and our barrages. Troops are going to walk up that left side, nice straight line. And we should be able to take down all of these engine rooms without going anywhere near that SEMO, without getting anywhere close to that back back engine room, all because we've maxed out artillery and barrage. Obviously, you need to have near max barrage and maxed artillery. Most people at this level will have maxed artillery and be getting very, very close to maxed barrage. So shouldn't be a huge, huge deal. Just waiting for that one more time where we can get all of our troops thrown back right about now should be good enough to get all of the remaining GBE required. And then I'm just going to be tapping like a crazy person to get that last engine room down with that free GBE that we get just under three minutes. Anytime you can get close to three minutes at the four engine room level, you should pull out a victory. So um, hopefully this has been somewhat educational for you, just trying to show you why it's critical to get three engine rooms towards the back because people like me are going to be poaching easy victories if you've got two engine rooms up the front. And that last victory showed you exactly what I was talking about as far as they weren't exactly at the front, but 
not having to come all the way back in here just makes a huge difference. This person's, anyone who wants to barrage my base is going to have to get this and then get very, very close to the, this engine room. Let's have a quick look, see what Russian character person, is that Cyrillic? Anyways, let's keep going. That, see, they're trying to get wide around it. That shock launcher's going to cause them some grief. They also have to come back. See see how I said they're going to try to get wide eventually? But we've got enough shock launchers. We've got enough damage around those. That shock mine right there also doing some favors for us and just picking troops off. They're into the middle of us. We don't have rocket launchers, but they try to go wide. Going wide is slower than coming up the front, and we managed to pull up the victory. So... If that per if I would have had my four engine rooms in the back, they would have won even faster. They had to use a bunch of en gunboat energy to get this one. Um, maybe my shock launcher should be like one more tile out just to get that little tiny corner by that black bit there. But overall, pretty darn happy with how things have been going on the warships. Cruising up. Uh, this account has only been at 18, have not made it to 19 yet. Not sure I can push in a diamond with this strategy or if we're going to have to go to five engine rooms. But so far, winning, winning, winning. And people keep asking me, should I go to five engine rooms or not? My general theory is if you're winning more than... 50% of your battles at four engine rooms, stick around for a little bit, keep winning until you can't win anymore. But if you're, gonna, if you're an active, active player at the same time, going into the fifth engine room, there's no downside to it. So there's no sure answer, sadly, but um, hopefully you guys are doing what's fun. If four engine rooms gets boring, move to five. If five gets boring, move to six, yada, yada, yada. A uh, little bit sad, we can't put out our... Um, Boom boxes. I'm not sure if I actually got them on this account. Actually, I want to show you one quick thing that's not related to warships. So if you only want warships, end here. Thanks for coming in. I'm Zedmod. Peace. Otherwise, hang around for one minute. want to show you something that's kind of cool, I think. Okay, so this is my base. As you can see, I've put up a shield. There's a very, very good reason for that. If you have a look at my base, you think, okay, he's got a shield. Well, where is it? Using the boom boxes, you can just see the shield hidden back in behind that tree. Following the cables for the boom box, you can see there is a second cable there if you look very, very closely. The number of people who look closely is not super high. But wait, there's more. Check this cable out. If you follow this cable, I also have a second shield generator back in here, which realistically, shield generators don't generate a lot of intel for you, simply because most people are going to use tank medic, or as you saw there, they're going to use granite, they're bombardiers, which means they don't really care about your shield. But I have surprised a few people in my task force, and realistically, it's neat and interesting and new and fun. So I figured I'd let you guys in on that little secret that I think I even mentioned it in my sneak peek, using it to hide shield generators. Obviously you need trees. Now trees don't see shield generators as an active defense, so they don't go transparent. One bonus of having a tree base, I suppose. I considered throwing a third shield gen in, but I didn't want to clear any more trees to hide it back in there. Anyways, that's it for me. Hopefully you guys have a fantastic weekend. It's a long weekend here in Canada. I'm going to be mountain biking and actually spending some time with my parents for the first time in a long, long time, extending our bubble to include them just because my wife is going back to work as a teacher next week and won't be able to see my parents for a while after that just to be on the cautious side of things. Anyways, hope you guys have a fantastic long weekend or weekend or wherever the heck you are, whenever you see this. As always, I'm Zedmont. Thank you for coming in. Consider subscribing, liking, clicking the bell, all that sort of fun stuff. More importantly, hit me up in the comments if you have questions or improvements for my attacks. Otherwise, thanks for coming in. I'm Zedmont. Peace!